Love is not tourism. A quote that you could hear a lot the last one and a half year ago. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Magandang ara sa iyo lahat. Welcome po sa akin channel. It's been a while that I uploaded a video. Sorry for that. I know that people are uh, waiting to watch my videos, but the last couple of weeks were so, so busy. Um, it was incredible. I recorded some videos, uh, but I just didn't have time to edit them and to throw them online. Um, there's uh, a lot going on behind the scenes and yeah we also took one week off uh, to uh, have a little vacation that was our first vacation this year because we're not going to philippines uh, this year so we uh, found a way to go out of belgium uh, we also recorded that and we also um, will make a video about that but it was so busy the last couple of weeks that uh, we didn't have time uh, to edit uh, also, people uh, noticed that the last videos that I'm making, I'm using my old intro again. That has something to do with copyrights and we're also working on that uh, to see if I can use the newer intro again because for me and I think for a lot of people it looked more nice. Uh, but we are also working on that. So uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Now the last week something caught my attention and I think it was worth making a, a video about it quickly because the videos for the holiday it takes a little bit more to, uh, to edit. And the Bureau of Immigration Commissioner, he uh, reacted on love is not tourism. And what I'm thinking and what I... Uh, so this is the first time that there is a reaction about love is not tourism. Uh, it looked like uh, they always like put it in the side. Uh, people are shouting it, love is not tourism, but I didn't see any reaction. Maybe I missed it. If I missed it, please comment <laughs> down in the video. But it looked like um, they were uh, deaf about that, uh, that situation. You can always hear that Philippines is closed for tourists and everything like that. But if you have a fiancé there, if you have a, a girlfriend there, love is not tourism. And now finally the commissioner said like, we can hear you. I was thinking, yeah, finally you can hear them because it's already one and a half year that they're shouting uh, love is not tourism. And um, I... I uh, I thought like finally there is some reaction coming back now he would not be a high position for the government if he didn't open immediately his umbrella like um, every high position person does when you're working for a government or an important agency he immediately said like we can hear you but it's another office that's making the decisions to open the borders so it's like, I can hear you, but I cannot do anything about it. Now, the EATF, that's another office. And I don't know if it existed before Corona or they just started it. It's uh, something to do with uh, interagency uh, task force about uh, managing and um, emerging something about uh, infectious diseases so i don't know if it already existed before and uh, he said like it's them that are deciding if it's safe or not now everybody has a different opinion about what is safe because maybe philippines is already safe maybe not maybe they decide it's safe and it's not safe so it's like it's not really with facts, it's more about feeling, I think, because uh, numbers doesn't always say anything. And the whole world is getting vaccinated like crazy. Um, in Philippines it's going slower, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, Filipinos to get vaccinated. Not every Filipino wants to be vaccinated. Uh, the campaigns there are totally different than, for example, here in, in Belgium. Um, but 
it, it will take a while before everybody is vaccinated also because there are so many islands uh, they are all spread uh, around um, like in the provinces it's not always easy to reach them so that's making it more complicated uh, but it's that uh, agency that will decide if the borders will open now the commissioners also said like uh, he thinks that the borders will open soon but he didn't put any date now of course he's playing safe because he don't want that uh, they're shooting at him uh, because he cannot uh, get the number or the date that uh, that he told but uh, let's hope that it's soon because there are a lot of people asking about it when will the borders open um, a lot of people are reacting yeah it will not be before next uh, year it will not be before 2024 and but in the end nobody knows nobody knows when the, the borders will open so we have to keep our patience and um, yeah a lot of people want, want to go there and I can understand if you have a fiance there or a girlfriend it's, it's really hard and love is not tourism um, but for them for sure it's like where you put the line where you put the border for people you're allowed to enter and you're not it's easy what they're doing now you're married with a, uh, with a Filipina or you have a child with a Filipina then you're welcome otherwise not for them it's it's easier but sometimes they're I think they're forgetting about the feelings of people as well because a lot of people and a lot of couples are really struggling now uh, during the corona but le let's hope that we can quickly go now about the quarantine rules what I can hear before it was 10 days that you have to be in Manila um, it's on your own cost uh, they will put you in a hotel you have to do some uh, PCR test and everything like that now I can see numbers for uh, the 10 days of uh, quarantine about 50,000 pesos for the hotel a swap test a PCR test is around 30 13,000 now I don't know if the numbers are still correct but um, if you want to go there it's costing really a lot of extra money if you're checking about tickets uh, I think the tickets are almost doubled now uh, we were checking for tickets and for the period that normally we were going we had to pay more than double now so it's uh, it's totally crazy um, so if you can go to Philippines it will be really an expensive uh, an expensive trip as well now yeah, if you didn't see your girlfriend or your fiance for a long time people uh, want to do that so but yeah that's their own decision but what I can see is before you had 10 days there and if you're traveling to some provinces or something you had to be 12, uh, 14 days in home quarantine. Now I don't read anything about that anymore. I can only see about the 10 days uh, that you have to stay there in the hotel uh, in, in Manila. Um, they were saying also about 7 days but there were in the small letters that you had to be vaccinated in the Philippines or with a vaccine that is like approved in the Philippines and yeah a lot of people here in Belgium we have Pfizer they also have Pfizer in Philippines uh, instead of some older uh, uh, vaccinated brands because here we stopped with most of the others um, but then you can see that the uh, uh, Pfizer vaccine from Belgium really strange because they are producing it here that they didn't accept it in in the Philippines and something like that so I think it has also to do with uh, politics and with power um, so it means that uh, if you're coming from outside the Philippines that you still had to be 10 days in uh, in quarantine now that's the latest numbers that I had maybe when I'm making this video the numbers are changing uh, if you have the latest information please comment it down here in the video so people can read it here um, so everybody has the latest information I could see um, on some forums and on some uh, groups in uh, Facebook that people were traveling to go to Philippines so and I know that they're watching my videos so uh, if you're watching this please comment them down here in the comment section in the reaction section so everybody has the latest uh, information and for now the only thing we can do is is paying attention and hoping that the borders will uh, will open soon uh, Philippines is really struggling because there is no tourism so the income is uh, really low uh, and uh, people are even without a job so uh, my feeling is that they will not keep it longer closed as necessary for them 
but yeah politicians think differently than the normal people um, so let's hope that they open as quick as possible the moment that they will open i will also make a video about that to uh, announce it to the world and uh, to bring the good news to spread the good news so for now this is it there is nothing more that i can uh, give information about uh, i hope that you like this video i know it's uh, a lot of information again and yeah it's not the same as going out but the videos are coming that we are outside of the studio outside of uh, the house and even outside of belgium so uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to click the red button down the video don't also forget to click the notification bell as well then you get updates when there are new videos coming online i hope that you enjoyed it Keep watching because there is big news coming. When everything is falling into its place, uh, I will do a big announcement here in, uh, in my channel. And I hope it will be in one of the next weeks that I, uh, I can make that video. So big news is coming. Uh, I hope that you liked it and I hope to see you in the next one. Pa'alam, tot ziens and see you in the next vlog.